Today, I got a fun one for you. Five strategies for staying top of mind with potential clients in your geographic Farm. As a real estate agent, you want to be top of mind with potential clients in your geo farm. So when they're ready to buy or sell, well, you're the first person that they think of, right? But how can you stay top of mind with your audience in a way that's effective and efficient? In this video, I'll share five strategies for staying top of mind with potential clients in your geo farm and help you become the go-to realtor in your neighborhood. Staying top of mind with potential clients is essential for any agent. In this video, we'll explore five specific strategies you can use to stay top of mind with your audience. Number one, direct mail. The first strategy for staying top of mind with potential clients is through direct mail. By sending postcards or other mailers on a regular basis, you can keep your name and brand in front of your target audience. You can highlight your recent sales, your market expertise. You provide valuable information about the real estate market in your geo farm. Direct mail is an effective and efficient way to stay top of mind and build that brand recognition. Emails. The second strategy is emails. Yes, you can stay top of mind with potential clients by sending regular emails. You can send newsletters, market updates, or just a friendly check-in to your email list. By providing that valuable information and staying in touch, you're starting to create a relationship that will last a lifetime. And it also helps to keep your brand top of mind. Number three to stay top of mind for your potential clients in your geo farm is hyper local events. Yes, hosting neighborhood events are phenomenal. You could include neighborhood block parties, garage sales, holiday events, community gatherings of sorts. These events are awesome to bring people together and get you belly to belly with that ideal prospect. You can build relationships and you can show your commitment to the community. These events are super, super powerful. And we actually have a list of over 60 events that you can host in your farm. So make sure you grab that freebie at www.60events.com. And if you have any questions on it, let me know, but it is a free resource. So enjoy. Number four, staying top of mind with potential clients in your geo farm, open houses. I know open houses, some agents just don't want to do them. Some coaches are out there poo-pooing them because they are not effective. I tend to disagree. Open houses are amazing. I love hosting open houses because I get to a sell the house and the community to the potential buyer like no other agent could. I get to meet the potential um, neighbors that want to sell down the road. And I get to present myself in the expert field that I'm in, which is real estate. And then it also helps to just bridge that gap from how do I reach out for the very first time? I've been getting her emails. I've been seeing her name. I just don't know how to start the conversation. An open house is a great way for a potential prospect to just say, oh, we just saw the open house and thought we would come in and actually just say hi to you, which you'd be surprised happens a lot to me. Hosting open houses is an amazing way for sellers, potential sellers, and buyers alike, and I highly, highly recommend you do them. Next up, we have retargeting ads to stay top of mind with potential clients in your geographic farm. This is one of the main reasons that I help agents get the marketing taken care of in-house. Yes, you can hire a ton of other companies to do everything for you. The problem is that you are not getting the back-end data in order for you to really, and I mean really, grow your business. So if you are looking to advertise on Facebook platforms and you are bound to that 15-mile radius, let me tell you, there is no real estate agent in the world that has enough of a budget to saturate 15 miles unless you live in the middle of the country where there's literally one agent in one town. So if you're like most of us living in an area that 15 miles, you're going to cover three, four, five towns, different counties, 
it is too much for our small business to take on. So by being really focused on the retargeting ads, you can make sure you stay really front and center. And this is one of the reasons that I really believe it's so important to own your own data. So make sure you keep your brand in front of these potential clients with these retargeting ads. So use these five strategies as we just covered them in this video. You can stay top of mind with potential clients in your video farm. You can build your brand in a meaningful way. So whether you're a new agent or you're looking to establish yourself in that neighborhood, you have all the tools you need. And if you need more hands on it, make sure you reach out, hit like, hit subscribe, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video.